With a bunch of states implementing their new minimum wage laws on January 1st, Fox News decided to go after those laws and say that they're bad using the same old arguments they always use. Let's watch. Welcome back. 21 states across the country are ringing in the new year with an increase to the minimum wage. Some economists say it's a good thing and it could generate $800 in new uh, $800 in new economic $800 million in new economic growth. But what they're not telling you, the effect that it could have on our nation's recovery. Joining me now is an economist and University of Maryland professor Peter Maurice, a good friend of the show. Peter, nice to see you this morning. Nice to be with you. All right, you think this is a bad idea, the minimum wage going up. Why? Well, essentially, businesses will employ fewer people. There's hardly anything in the world where you raise the price and you demand more, the way advocates say. The reality is, if you make workers more expensive through a higher minimum wage, Obamacare, what have you, employers will find a way around them to use machines and so forth. The Congressional Budget Office found if we had the president's proposal, 10-10 minimum wage across the country, we'd have 500,000 fewer jobs. How could you have more economy, more economic growth, with fewer people working? Well, Bill O'Reilly disagrees with you. Here's what uh, our own Bill O'Reilly had to say about uh, the minimum wage increase. Take a listen. Did you know that about 70% of all American workers earn less than $50,000 a year? Did you know that? I didn't know that. That means the folks are struggling. Raise the minimum wage. That'll encourage young people to get into the marketplace and other folks to get off the dole. Ten bucks an hour, not going to break anyone. So O'Reilly's point, it'll force people into the workforce. We saw all those people not going back into the workforce uh, over these last jobs numbers. What do you say to that? Well, certainly more people would want to want to work. Mr. O'Reilly's correct about that, but that's the demand. But on the supply side, uh, employers would if, offer fewer jobs because they say you're too expensive for me now. What's more, you know, it's right. Seventy percent of Americans earn less than fifty thousand dollars, and a small sliver of people who actually keep their jobs that earn the minimum wage will gain. But those people just above them, they'll have to pay a dollar or two more for a hamburger at McDonald's. You know, for one of those those meals with fries and soda and so forth they won't be able to afford that meal instead they'll have to take peanut butter and jelly from home no it won't increase the price of a happy meal by a dollar or two it'll increase the price of a happy meal by a cent or two by less than 10 cents in fact economists looked into this specifically for walmart where they said how much would be added to you know your average walmart uh item the cost of it if we raise the minimum wage to a living wage and the answer was about 10 cents so he's lying and overinflating the number and trying to fear monger that the minimum wage is going to lead to the collapse of the American economy and it's going to lead to worse, uh, worse economic outcomes. And uh, understand it's simply not true because today, if you work a full-time job and you earn the minimum wage, you don't make enough money to survive. I mean, that's something that people should oppose just on moral grounds, just on ethical grounds. Everybody should be against that. It appears to be a common sense position to say, you know, if you work full time, you should probably be able to keep the lights on and feed the kids and at least be okay and not fear, you know, losing the roof over your head. But no, on Fox, that's controversial. And isn't it amazing? You know you've gone off the rails when Bill O'Reilly is the voice of reason. Now, furthermore, he says, well, it would increase unemployment. That's the problem. Well, that's not true because they've studied this and they find that there certainly is a point where it would increase unemployment because small business owners can't afford to pay uh, their lower wage workers $50 an hour. But that's the point. Nobody's asking for $50 an hour. Nobody's even asking for $20 an hour. People are just asking to bring the minimum wage back to what it was equal to in 1968. Did you know that if you simply kept up with inflation, uh, the minimum wage from 1968, uh, today it would be over ten dollars an hour that's all people are asking for we're simply asking for a living wage which uh, is about uh, twelve dollars an hour which is what I advocate for I think ten is still too low about twelve dollars an hour is right where it should be you can't argue against this straw man you can't say well why stop there why not make it like fifty 
because we're not asking for 50 because we know that's unreasonable and we know that would lead to unemployment, but it won't lead to unemployment if you make it $12 an hour. And again, the studies have shown this. There, there are certain places in America, certain towns, cities, counties, you name it, where they have raised the minimum wage and you had economists rush in there to study it empir empirically and they found that it's not the case that it leads to higher unemployment. In fact, quite the opposite. Sometimes it leads to a decrease in unemployment because what happens is you give more money to uh, lower class uh, workers and they immediately have to go out and spend it. So what you're doing is you're increasing their purchasing power, as it's called. And then they need to go out and spend it right away, which in turn creates more jobs. And then uh, understand, 80% of the American people are for raising the minimum wage. Even a majority of Republicans are for raising the minimum wage. So when Fox News does a segment slamming that idea, the only people that they're carrying water for are their corporate uh, advertisers. And the people who represent the establishment and represent the elite and represent the multinational corporations. That's the only group in America, this microcosm in America, that uh, stands up and advocates for not raising the minimum wage. Everybody else, a majority of independents, Democrats, and Republicans, we are all on the side of raising the wage. So we should definitely raise the wage.